before we get into today's vlog, just as a reminder, coming up on November 18th is the Ferrari show at Cafe Lux. Ferrari Automobilia. Automobilia. Lots of Ferraris and the Cafe Lux parking lot in Malibu from 8 to 10 in the morning. It's going to be an awesome event. Check out this poster. Going to have lots of fun. Going to be about 30 Ferraris in this. Plus a few surprises. So if you belong to the Ferrari Club of America, and then the next day, November 19th, Sunday, it's wheels and waves again. I don't know where you have to be on those those two days, but you, you better be at least at one of those shows. Because if you're not, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking to you anymore. I just forget it. That's it. Okay, right, that, let's start the vlog. Museum. I, you know, I'm pretty fluid with that now. You're getting I, better. I can say it really well. It was a tongue twister before. Now you've got it down like a pro. Uh, so uh, thank you, by the way, for allowing us to, to use your gorgeous museum to do this silly install that we're doing. You're welcome. Uh, with these fantastic guys. Um, how's the Ford show going? So we're having a Ford show today. Um, there's a lot going on in Mature County this weekend, so we're having a pretty fair turnout. Yeah. Uh, we have a taco man here, but the really important thing and what's bringing people in is it's the final weekend for the Batmobile and the right. Munster Coach. So we're right. seeing some families coming in here with kids. Yes. And uh, some have been here already, so they're seeing it the second in time. In costume, no less. Away. And we have some folks in costume. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, very grateful to the Barris family once again for keeping the cars here. And uh, this is it for shows for us what? until March. Okay, so what, what's happening in March? So March, the Studebaker Club of Los Angeles right. will have their annual, they call it their winter meet. So we'll be here, uh, watch our website for details for the date. Cool, that will be funky the next cars. One. Yeah, 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 the bullet nose cars. <laughs> the cars, you don't know if they're going backwards or forwards. Yeah, the cars exactly. Two, two ends. Yeah, you two can go either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, two front end cars. <laughs> Okay, my name's Brian Allen. I own Hot Wire and Nostalgia. We do wiring on hot rods and custom cars. One of our main businesses is horns. Uh, Fireball asked me to come out and uh, install a horn on a project he's doing, and it looks very interesting. We've got to wait for some stuff to be done on it until I can dig in under the hood, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be installing a custom horn on this vehicle, and this, this is fun. This is what I do. People like to make noise. Um, you know, I sell a lot of horns at the Pomona Swap Meet and other shows. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a fun thing. I mean, I've got a train horn on my hot rod. It makes it different, it's unique, it's unusual. It's something someone can add to their car to make it more unique. Uh, a lot of people will add it as an extra horn. Um, some people use it as their main horn. And we do everything from very minor sounding horns to train horns to major, massive horns. The horn we're installing today is a louder than stock horn. It's got a very nice tone. Um, it's authoritative. Uh, it's still legal. The train horns aren't, but this one is. It's going to be fun. We're going to install it on a car. It's going to be a lot louder than the one that came with it. It'll get people out of your way, and that's the whole idea. I don't know how you can work with all that jewelry on. I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> Everything's going really well. 
we uh, found a place to mount the horns, which is sometimes the most difficult part because these are rather large horns comparatively. So we found a place. We had to juggle things around a little bit, but uh, we've got the horns mounted. Actually, you know, most car horns are hidden behind the radiator anyway or some piece of sheet metal. So the direction's not real important. Um, they're kind of omnidirectional anyway. It's hard to tell where they're coming from, but basically you just want to make the noise and it really doesn't make much difference. I believe the legal decibel is 130. You'd have to check that out, but I'm, I think that's what it is. These are about 116, which is within the legal range. But really loud. But loud. It's close to the legal range. Hotwire was my wiring business that wired hot rods and custom cars and it's still running, but not. I don't do as much of that as I used to but I sell a lot of horns. I am the guy who invented the flamethrower kits that were used in Fast and the Furious, Gone in 60 Seconds, Torx. There's been a couple TV shows about those and I still make them and they still sell very well. There's a couple videos on, uh, on YouTube showing the car shooting flames and how to install them. Uh, my phone number is 805-263-6378. Um, I've also got a cell number of 805-340-7882. And that's usually the best way to get a hold of me. Also, a email of n a z z t a l g i a at hotmail.com, which is also my uh, name of my company, Nastalgia. It's great working with Fireball. He bought us lunch. Hey! So, we're, are you wiring this up now? Oh, my, uh, my roommate. What's up, Paul? You're on the vlog, buddy. Nice. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Oh, this is great. Yeah, you guys are doing a fantastic job. We mounted the horns. They're done. So now it just requires uh, to wire them. Yeah, which is not going to take long as soon as we move this battery. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, I don't have any wire ties with me. So it's hard Improvise, to adapt, overcome. That's right. right. It's hard to remember everything you're going to need. Well, it, it looks good. It looks great. So I think I need to press the button, right? Go ahead. Press the button. Okay. You want me to press the button while you take the shot? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, everybody. Put in uh, hold on, hold on. Little kids. Plug your ears, guys. Plug your ears. Okay. No animals were harmed in the installation of this horn. Ready? Yep. than I expected because very often it's difficult to find a place to put the horns um, particularly when you've got the larger horns that are much bigger than the original horns so therefore many cars now are very clogged up you know engine compartments so it's hard to find a place to put the horns I'm still a rock and roller still playing in a band oh god since I was 15 years old I toured with the uh, Shangri-Las when I was 16 uh, is there anybody you want to say hi to my wife Donna. Paul helped me, uh, Paul my roommate, uh, give him congratulations for helping me do this job today. Rock on and hot rods forever. Thank you man! Horn is in, it sounds game busters, and then it's on to the next level of modifications for the truck. We got wheels and tires, we got all kinds of stuff that's going on, it never ends. You can call me stupid you can say I'm lazy. And big thanks to Brian from Nostalgia Rod and Custom. That horn works awesome. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble. When it comes to her, you better keep it.